Hello and welcome to today's video on high altitude investing. So today's video is going to be how I trade altcoins during bloodbaths. So the other day when Bitcoin um, pumped up a whole bunch and there's a bunch of bloodbaths in the altcoin markets, um, I'm going to explain kind of some things I use and some factors to uh, trade that type of a market because I know a lot of people um, took a pretty big hit in their accounts during that time because you know, all alts were down significantly and Bitcoin was pumping up pretty hard. Um, also, I'm getting my wisdom teeth out today, so I'm recording this video. And um, if I can't talk tomorrow, then I'll probably have to do some type of typing or cutscenes or something. I'll figure it out, but um, just so you guys know, I'm getting my wisdom teeth out, so I probably won't be able to talk tomorrow or we'll see, but I don't think so. All right, so yeah, here's how I trade altcoins during uh, bloodbaths due to Bitcoin. So um, let's go ahead and go to tradingview.com. Um, this is where I do my chart analysis. And where I generally get my ideas is the direction of a market is going. Well, see, the direction is um, pretty easy to determine. It's, what's really hard is to figure out entries and exits. Um, and more on that down the road and risk management too because those are some some concepts I want to teach you guys so that you can you know not take a big loss during these types of environments when there's a lot of dumping in in alts all right so as you can clearly see I predicted ethereum would break below its triangle here and it's done that so far. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, oops, I didn't mean to remove indicators. Let me get those back. So click on indicators. If you, if you're, you know, if you don't have them, you can click indicators and search volume. It's really important. And then I use the RSI, stands for Relative Strength Index, and MACD. And th those are the only indicators I personally use, except for Ichimoku sometimes. And um, if you want to know how to use Ichimoku, you can sign up for my VIP uh, chat lounge. And I have VIP videos. And one of my VIP videos is Ichimoku. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested in signing up for my VIP lounge. OK. Um, now, basically what's happened here is we've caught support on Ethereum and this was the day I have it on one day candlestick so this day right here this red candle was the bloodbath day so when all altcoins were down like really pretty far down now as you can see we've had a recovery since then so um, that's something to be be watching for is that they do recover pretty quickly after these types of moves. All right, oops. Now let me go ahead and show you basically the most important part of trading altcoins during this period. Well, even just any time. Well, I don't know if it's the most important, but I would say this is very, very important for trading altcoins because if you don't know how to do this, then you're probably going to take some pretty gnarly hits because of Bitcoin. Because these markets are traded against Bitcoin. It's altcoin and Ethereum. I mean, um, Ethereum and Bitcoin. So altcoin and Bitcoin. It's a pair against Bitcoin. So these coins are traded against Bitcoin, right? Which means if Bitcoin goes up in value, the other ones are naturally going to take somewhat of a hit from that unless it's leaving the US dollar, right? So if it's leaving the US dollar, then so if all the money is leaving fiat currency or, you know, whatever currency, as long as it's leaving from fiat into crypto, then all of them can go up in value at the same time. But because uh, Bitcoin is the gateway, basically, so you have to buy Bitcoin to buy Ethereum. Well, not anymore now that Coinbase has it, but a lot of places you buy Bitcoin to buy Ethereum or any other altcoin. And so because of that, the, the market pairs affect each other a lot more in this, at least at this point in time. Um, 
that could change down the road if if we start to see easier ways to buy alts from fiat all right so i'm gonna go into two hour candlesticks so we can kind of zoom in on that day when it really happened so this was when it was bottoming out really really hard right here um that's basically that was the bloodbath day that's when all alts were down in percentage except a couple of them and that's that's to be expected like i said but if you come up here and click on compare up at the top again this is tradingview.com this is ethereum two hour candlesticks haikinashi um, candles and i'm going to click compare and then add symbol and i'm going to type in btc and then I'm going to go to Bitcoin dollar. Now this is Bitcoin. This these background candles, um, the green and the red that are the kind of more pale shade, not as bright, um, vibrant, con uh, sat saturated. That's the word I'm looking for. These ones are more saturated. This is Ethereum, and this is Bitcoin. So here's Bitcoin candles. And here's Ethereum candles. Now, if you see on the day of that bloodbath was the exact same day that Bitcoin came up and peaked recently. Okay, this is very, very correlated, especially Bitcoin and Ethereum. They are very, very correlated in price. As you can see, if I zoom out and zoom out and zoom out, you can see how these are extremely correlated. Bitcoin dumps off of its high at 13. Hundred back here we have Bitcoin dumping off of its high off of 1300 that's the same day Ethereum began its uptrend off of a double bottom so that's obviously correlated we have an altcoin bloodbath and a Bitcoin moon that day so you know I'm expecting a small pullback in Bitcoin due to short-term resistance but it depends on how many times we come up and hit this we come up and hit that resistance level enough times we might break above it um, but we'll see that, that that really depends but right now it is in a defined uptrend so until that officially changes so a defined uptrend is higher highs and higher lows and a defined downtrend is lower lows and lower highs so right now we're in a Bitcoin defined uptrend and an ethereum defined downtrend but that may turn around here soon um, it really depends on the short term bitcoin has hit resistance but again it has a lot of upward support so it depends on whether it breaks above that resistance or falls out of it um, but basically the most important thing is you can do this with any altcoin so let's do it with xmr is to be comparing it to bitcoin because you'll find that their prices are very very correlated even xmr and bitcoin see this very very correlated um so you know they can run up at the same times you can see they kind of did along right here ran up at the same time and again they're kind of trending up together right now overall really but but on the short term xmr is in a downtrend defined and bitcoin is in an uptrend defined so you can naturally assume that the probability of, it, of Bitcoin going higher is, is pretty high and the probability of alts going lower is pretty high unless we see a confirmed change in trend. <clears throat> I have a video on how to recognize the reversal in a trend and I recommend checking that one out because it goes over some things you can be, be looking for when you're when you're looking for the reversal in a trend but right now um it does look like alts are downtrending in general now that doesn't mean that they can't turn around right here obviously they very very well could turn around right here we've just hit <clears throat> important support and um there's pretty high volume and bitcoin hit important resistance and there's pretty high volume so, you know, it's not out of the reach of possibilities for altcoins to turn around right here and go up, but this is how I trade them and I recommend at least 
looking at Bitcoin's prices against whatever currency, whether it's the dollar, the you know, euro, wherever you're from. I, I recommend at least be paying attention to Bitcoin during altcoin rallies. So um, I help. I hope this video helped uh, you guys learn something. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. This week's competition for the uh, 0.025 Bitcoin is a wallpaper for my channel. Uh, the only rules is it has to be official YouTube uh, channel art size, which is like 2400 pixels. I don't know, you just have to look it up. Um, it's like 2400 by, I don't want to go off a limb here, but yeah, official YouTube channel art. So the, the wallpaper on my YouTube channel. And um, it just has to be the official resolution so that it can actually fit there. And then it has to have the same words as my current one. So daily videos, live streams, and then my Twitter and the Twitter logo. And then it has to be white, orange, and black. And those are the only three colors you can use. So go ahead and put your entries. You can tweet them at me, uh, direct message me on Discord. Um, or however you want to get a hold of me, that's this week's logo competition. So go ahead and, or that's this week's uh, 0.025 Bitcoin competition wallpaper for my channel. And it has to be the official YouTube uh, standards for resolution. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and as always, stay profitable.